Hello and welcome to the Alteryx Weekly Challenge. This is challenge number 73 and this is something of a probabilities Plinko probabilities. This is uh, I think a game where you drop, judging by his picture, you drop in um, a disc or coin or something at the top and then it's got a 50-50 chance at each between each slot if you like, it's these slots or rows and it's got to go through and then you, it looks like you've got to get to work out the probability of it arriving at uh, position number two so now what we've got here is one two three four five six seven eight nine rows so nine positions as a starting position one to ten one to five uh, now the difficult thing here is the second fourth so all the even rows have got six slots and the odd rows have got five and if you are in position one or six in the even rows then you can only go to either one or five in the odd so the Portion, yeah, so there's the probability once you get to this point is only ever going to be the same in the next row in this position. So, uh, what I'm thinking, and there's also no starting uh, starting file for this particular challenge, so we've got to go from what we know. So, let's go to all tricks, and I've got a completely blank workflow to start from. So, what I'm thinking is is that we'll use text input and we'll put uh, first row and we'll call it one two three four five to represent the five starting points and then what we'll do is uh, use uh, generate rows to generate the rows uh, to for the next all the, so all the for the next row basically so uh, so this one was the first row so for we want a second row and we want to generate a row for the uh, second row row and it's got to be for because it's the second row there'll be six of them so six and we want to the expression we want is second row plus one okay so if we run that what we get is the, each of the first rows and then a row for each of the second rows so what we'll then do now let's work out the product predictivity or predict prediction probability probability of uh, and then we can use a formula tool to work out the probability of from the first row to the second now there'll be some zeros in there uh, so if we do a conditional for so first of all we call this run uh, second row uh, prob for probability okay so we will use a conditional if statement I think we need an if else if statement because we've got a number of uh, different scenarios we need to to look at but the first one is if the second row equals the first row okay then then it's simply uh, 0.5 that's the probability we go back to you know between the two you know so um, if if so if it's row one the probability of going into one is 50 percent or 0 0.5 if it's row two the probability of going into two that's all we're working out at this particular stage okay now we also need to work out what if it, the other one which is if it's in row one it was the probability of it going into or in slot one is it possibly probability to get into slot two so so if um, again so if row two equals 
row one, this time plus one, okay, so that's two and this is one, uh, then 0 0.5 again, okay, else zero chance. There's zero chance of it reaching, so if you put it in slot one, there's zero chance of it going into three, four, five, or six. Or similarly, if it's slot five, there's zero chance of it going into any of the others. So that's what we want here. Um, so that will give us the product prob probability uh, for e each of the solution, each of the scenarios. Okay, so it's probable. So we've got some zeros in there, but that's fine. They're, they'll continue with zeros. So what I'll do is I'll build this out. So each row, we've got nine to go through. I'll add generate rows and then the formula to then work out and now the uh, the difficult one will be when it's going from f the, the, the even rows to the odd ones where you've got one and six but let's get going So there you go. Um, you can choose here. I had to go at looking at interfaces, but um, for some reason I couldn't get it working. But um, anyway, there you go. You can. Uh, we have this. You can choose your first slot with your filter, and then that will give you the relative prediction for each one. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.